Hi everyone and welcome to another video. I'm going to be opening another Star Wars Black Series figure today. It's been literally probably three or four months since I opened my last one, Jabba the Hutt. There's just not that many Black Series figures that are being released anymore that I want. But this one I definitely want. This is R5-D4. He does appear in A New Hope. If you remember the scene with the Jawas, he blows himself up to let R2-D2 join C-3PO with Luke. But he makes a reappearance in The Mandalorian TV show on Disney+. Plus, Which was great to see because I love him. He, I'm scared to say he might actually be my favourite droid over R2-D2. I just love the design, love the colours. And I've always liked the droid in general. Since watching A New Hope back in the day. So this is the new packaging. He's a new scale. He's in scale with the new R2-D2 I've unboxed on my channel already. So this is great to see. He looks absolutely amazing. Obviously I'll be opening it up in a minute. This is the artwork on the side. Again, brilliant. And then the back of the box is numbered number 33 in the Mandalorian line. I think Mandalorian must have like the most figures out of it. Black series. It's crazy. So R5-D4. A battered astromech droid, R5-D4 has had a long operational span bouncing around various owners on Tatooine for decades. Now he resides in Docking Bay 3-5 of Moss Isley Spaceport in Peli Motto's employ. So yeah, this has taken ages to come out. It's been on pre-order since April last year and... I get my figures from Star Action Figures, I've mentioned them before, they're really good. And I don't know, some of the batch came in December, it's now the 30th of January and everyone just got this. It's taken forever to get it, so I'm happy it finally did because I was contemplating going elsewhere, which is very unlikely, but this is one figure I had to have because I just love the droid. That's the figure in the packaging. You see all the accessories, all the attachments it comes with. You just take all those out. So this is the droid out the packaging with six attachments. Some of these look different. I don't think they're the ones that R2-D2 came with. Um, especially like this little one, I don't recognise these, maybe my memory's failing me, but some of these look different to the R2-D2 ones. So you should be able to mix and match with R2-D2 attachments because I think the base unit here is the same mould as R2-D2, or at least very similar, so you would be able to mix and match. But here's the droid, R5-D4 close up, as I said it's a new scale. It looks absolutely amazing, great size, palm your hand, that's the size of it now. The old scale was wrong compared to the figures and it was a lot smaller looking. The head should come up like R2-D2, I don't know if there's a special way of doing it or if you just put it, there you go. But this is where you can put the attachments in to store them. I won't put them all in, but you get the idea. You put them in there and then lower the head down. Yeah, his head's quite stiff to move. Now, he doesn't have anything to plug in the top, but then I don't know if this droid does or not in the show. You don't see him with a sensor scope or anything, so that's probably why you don't have anything to plug in. The front bits, they look like toothbrushes. <laughs> they should come out, I think. Again, like R2, it'd be very fiddly to do, but I think these do come out. There you go. So you get the idea. The top one comes out as well, but that's what it looks like. Then you have the side panels. Again, very fiddly. But these are where you can plug in the attachments. So if you want to have them out on display with an attachment like that, you can. Or you can just have it on its own, like this. 
Third leg as well, just like RTD2, you just have to pull it. It's very, again, very fiddly, but there you go, first time. <laughs> Unlike RTD2, it took me ages. Uh, let's see if we can. There we go. It doesn't seem to be very manoeuvrable. Best I can get it. it. Doesn't quite go flat. I'm sure if I fiddle around with it, it'll go a bit better. But oh, it moves. <laughs> it's articulated. Is it the wrong way around? Maybe. No, I don't know. I'm sure I'll get it eventually. But yeah, that's the third leg. Or you can obviously just display him like that. So a brilliant figure, so happy to have this in my collection finally. <laughs> As I said, it's been on pre-order for so long. I was starting to get worried it was never going to arrive. And other than that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.